Hi and welcome to another video and today we're going to be showing you how to use the G-Shift function on Logitech mics. Now I'm going to be showing on the G-Pro wireless, it does work on other Logitech mics, especially the new ones, some of the older ones don't have this feature and some of the cheaper ones don't as well. If you're not sure what G-Shift is, it allows you to have multiple key bindings set to your device, this, this one being the Logitech G-Pro wireless here. So in other words, you can have the left and right mouse button as your default clicks when you hold down G shift you can change those to like one and two or three and four or whatever other key binding you want to do and when you let go of G shift it resets them back to the default bindings useful for Fortnite Call of Duty things like that so what you need to do is go into your hub you need to click on the device that you want to set G shift on in this case as we said G Pro here what you need to do first is assign the G shift button the way of doing that is you go into system in the search box just type G and you can see here G shift Assign that to a default button that you want to use for the G shift function. Just bear in mind, you have to hold down G shift to enable the alternative key bindings while it's held down. And you'll see down here at the bottom here, you'll see default, which these are my default key bindings at the moment for this mouse. And when I click onto G shift, these are the ones that are there for G shift when it's pressed down. So what we're going to do, we're going to reassign the middle click here to button X. So just go to keys at the top here. Type X and then drag the X across onto the middle one here. So now the middle mouse button, when G shift is held down, will be X. Turn off default. You can see we've assigned the G shift button. When I press it here on the Logitech E Pro, you can see it changes in the software. When we go to Notepad, you can see here standard it doesn't do anything because it's middle click. When we hold down G shift and press it, you now see it presses X. Let me show you this on the primary click using G shift. I generally use the primary click G shift function to number two. So I pull out a pistol, I'm firing still. So my primary runs out. I hold G shift down and I'm still firing. It flicks to my secondary instantly, which saves me time based without reaching up onto the key and pushing two. And it means I can continue my rate of fire. So what you want to do is go to your keys here. We want to go number two, because that's the one we want to assign. Go down to your G shift. Now, as soon as we do this, we click it onto primary here number two it's going to tell us do you want to keep this push your g shift button to flick it back and then click click keep with your primary key because obviously your primary click sorry so obviously when g shift's held it's number two it's not your left mouse button now when we're in notepad we've now got primary click hold down left button here and it flicks the two and that's it that is your g shift capability for your mouse here hope this has been useful to you if you got any questions, put them in the comments. So if you want to see how to do this on the Razer Viper, for instance, which you Razer use something called HyperShift, check out my other video. I'll put a link in the description as well at the end of the video. And I hope this has been useful for you. Check out my other videos. I've just done the Razer Viper Huntsman as well. Mini is a review, and I'll catch you very soon. See you later. Bye-bye.